Hello there, so let's keep talking about combat balance, cause this stuff is important and it is the hardest part of making any online game good. I guess only my closest homie is gonna watch this video, cause the last one has only 420 views at the moment. But uh, just in case, if you are still not my closest homie, I need to say that I don't work for Bethesda. I wish I could, but I don't. So this video is just my opinion, also known as my red workbench fantasies. Today we're gonna see what we are dealing with on PTS and how I would balance ballistic automatic rifles. I don't touch named webs cause they are based on something and we need to balance this something first. So automatic ballistic rifles, here we go. Speaking of damage buffs, I go with perks that define commander build. Plus bloody mess, because why not? The science combo works with energy guns, we are not touching today, cause we need to look into them separately, balance them out and then compare one class with another, and see the actual difference, and then see what we can do about it, to make both classes equally viable. We need a creature with damage resistances and obviously I gonna pick Puppy Hulk cause he is my testing buddy since very beginning. And now the dude has 111 ballistic damage resistance. The first dude is 10mm submachine with calibrated receiver and baby DPS 546 points per second. Choo Choo has the highest damage per hit and the highest untouched DPS, 730 points per second. Tommy Gun has unique armor piercing receiver, sucky DPS and interesting drum that should be reloaded faster. Hmm. Assault Rifle and other dudes will have the same mods, tweaked receiver, swift magazine, reflex sight and as the Tommy Gun they all will have suppressor. So we have combat rifle, we have headmate, we have pipe rifle. The fixer actually is a named combat rifle and yes, I said that I'm not going to touch named webs. But since we can craft fixer and it has become some sort of OG of Fallout 76, I just can't skip it. Finally radium rifle, it is the last one for today. Almost everyone is immune to radiation, as you probably know, so we mostly care about ballistic damage. Okie dokie, so here we have all of them. Red numbers are base damage and base fire rate. Everything else is related to how any people will perform in a fight against Puppy Hawk with base ballistic resistance 111. Plus we have modified stats that depend on mods we are using. Additionally I go with tank killer, cause everyone should, <laughs> and speed demon mutation that affects reload speed. If you want to correctly adjust all parameters or all stats, we need a reference point that should embrace all of them. So base damage, fire rate, additional critical hit and armor penetration buff. My reference point gonna be DPS or damage per second based on damage per hit affected by commando combo and bloody mess and of course fire rate. As well we have tank killer and weapon mods that reduce resistance so we need a number to work with. And that is why I go with resistance 111 that Puppy Hawk pulls on the line. But we have other parameters that will affect our performance as well. So we have range, reload speed, ammo capacity, ammo cost and the uh, AP cost. Well, here you can see that Fixer is two times stronger than Pipey rifle and has more ammo per mag, meaning that damage per minute will be even higher. Speaking of ammo, uh, point .38 requires the same amount of lead per bullet as point .45, so ammo cost isn't better in case of Pipe rifle. Another example, well, base damage of Fixer is 20% higher than combat rifle can offer, 
So you can make both legendary with any mods you want and uh, why someone would play with combat rifle in this case? Oh, better question, why someone would play with pipe rifle? <laughs> Well, what we want to say in online game, all weapons should be viable. Otherwise, there is no point to use pipe or combat rifle or, for example, assault rifle. Look at this crap. Okie dokie, here's how I would balance these weapons. Uh, once again, we take TPS as a reference stat and make all weapons to get it in different ways. Choo Choo is one exception that has no silencer, so there will be no bonus for sneak attack. Plus it would be hard to go bloody with her loud weapon. Obviously power armor can fix this problem, but at least higher AP cost will make it weaker. 10 more spikes for higher AP cost is ok swap. <laughs> I think Choo Choo is well balanced already, so we just need more ammo capacity for quad version to shine, just not that much in watts. <laughs> so let's continue with Pipe Rifle or Pipey. Base damage is still the lowest one among all rifles we have today, but I think we can give it plus 45% armor penetration, but not for free. There is a perk called Licensed Plunger that can be used for this very purpose. Plus 15% armor penetration per rank. I know that it will affect other pipe webs, but it is totally fine. Just let me cook and I will show you how we can balance pistols and non-automatic rifles. Ah wait, it was Licensed Plumber, wasn't it? Did I say plancher? <laughs> ok. Basically additional multiplicative buff that reduces resistance of our enemies gonna help big time to newbies against hard to kill enemies for example and will compensate low base damage. I would give 10 more rounds to this setup, so without swift magazine we gonna have 20 rounds, not 12. Fire rate should be increased as well, so we can speed crits faster, meaning it will be somewhat close to top dogs, uh, aka 47, aka handmade, and fixer, aka Z fixer. And still, pipe weapons gonna be the low tier damage dealers, cause base damage is way lower. That is why I suggest to help newbies big time and let everyone to get more ammo per patch. Not 18, but 24 would be great. Senorito Tomigan deserves better. I know that other smart is insane because of insane fire rate, but here we don't have it. And let's see how we can make Tomigan nice and mafiosi. Well, base damage should be higher. For sure, higher than Elder Smart can offer. Range is the bitch here, and this stat should be changed for both weapons. 120 is not super enough, but we have 50 rounds to speed, we have 8 action point cost instead of 12, we have nice barrel for that sake, so armor penetration is quite good here. Reload speed is faster because of magazine, I mean this weapon gonna cook not better and not worse than Senorito Pipey. And gonna shine equally, but a little bit differently if we put them on steroids. Assault Rifle is the very reason to actually balance weapons in this game, cause it is just big no no WTF is wrong with you Bethesda. I have no idea why it has the quickest reload speed, I checked the animation of reloading like 10 times and compared it to other weapons, indeed the weapon reloads faster. So we nerf it cause no need. But it should have a bigger magazine cause it looks bigger. Fire rate should be increased as well cause it is a port assault rifle. And I think AP cost should be higher. The same as AK-47, the only weapon I just nerfed. I mean nerfed without buffing any other stat. Ah wait, I nerfed fixer as well. But we'll get there. And uh, I am a handmade guy. It sounds a little bit weird, but my parents don't watch what I do on YouTube anyways. 
The base damage is the same as Tommy Guy offers, but damage per hit and crit are way lower, though DPS is higher. That is the battle between armor piercing barrel and the just higher fire rate. And this fire rate gonna make it as efficient as headmate is, cause we speed crits faster. Though both weapons are not that much efficient as .45 family. And of course, larger magazine means that we have more time shooting that will eat the difference between damage per hit. 10mm submachine. I straight up give it a nice shiny suppressor and reflex sight to make it sneaky picky and that's efficient. Yes, the range gonna get reduced. But let's give this weapon one more damage to make the bears more interesting. It is the lowest one here, but we have plus 5 rounds to shoot and the reload speed is faster and it has more armor penetration already. Obviously additional critical damage gonna make history here, so that is why DPS is lower. Radium used to be energy pew pew, now ballistic. I should have checked how radiation damage is applied to people, cause if it hits first and then physical, we actually have a better weapon against humanity, but overall it sucks. So back to energy weapons, where science perks work and uh, I will give it plus one damage point to base number, just in case. Radiation damage should be applied first. Though in this case we are probably talking about just the first shot, right? Ok, I will leave it like this. Combat rifle has to offer something apart of being sake, and that is why I made it the strongest one, <laughs> because fire rate is freaking awesome. So fixer has more damage per hit, combat rifle delivers more crits per second, but ammo capacity is the same. So we will be reloading it more frequently, give both weapons some steroids and somewhere their DPS will cross and be equal or just like AK-47, AK handmade, well I nerfed it, because I nerfed fixer. Both weapons should have the same base damage but different AP cost. Because watts efficiency is different and uh, the stability is different. In my book 45 base damage is this optimum maximum you need for silenced weapons. Honestly, I would match up ammo cost, like literally the same. And uh, speaking of free aim gameplay, well, Bethesda just need to double description damage applied to weak points. This is how free aim and auto aim gonna be balanced out. So you deal 90 base damage instead of 45 when hit a weak point being out of watts. That simple. Tell me in the comment section what do you think about my way to balance automatic rifles. It took me a few days to think what I would do and how I present you my train of thoughts. Well, what else can I say? Big thank you for watching. <laughs> I will see you later. Bye bye bye. Bye bye.